Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me, Andrew, here. Today, I'm doing my full review on the all-new Lenovo Yoga 2 2-in-1 11.6-inch laptop. With the success of the Lenovo Yoga 2 Pro, Lenovo introduces the all-new Lenovo 2-in-1 laptop. With a slim and compact design and a more affordable price tag, let's see if this laptop is worth your hard-earning bucks. Let's start by breaking down the specs. This laptop features an Intel Pentium N3520 running at 2.17 GHz, Intel HD Graphics 4200, for the storage, we have a 500GB hard drive running at 5400 RPM, 4GB of RAM, built-in stereo speakers. For the display, we have 11.6-inch 10-point multi-touch display with a resolution of 1366 by 768 This laptop weighs 3 pounds and measures 0.7 inches thin. This laptop runs Microsoft Windows 8.1 and the retail price is $499 US. Next up, let's talk about design and build quality. The new Lenovo Yoga 211 features a slim and slick design. Lenovo did an excellent job by keeping the design and build quality similar to its bigger brother, the Lenovo Yoga 2 Pro 13. The only difference I noticed from the Lenovo Yoga 211 is the palm rest is made out of a plastic material instead of a soft touch. However, even with that cost cutting move Lenovo did, I think it looks slick and stylish with its two tone color finish. Next up, let's take a look at the ports here we have on the left side of the laptop. Starting from the left, you got your AC charging port, USB 3.0 port, SD card reader, and a mini HDMI output. Let's take a look at the ports and the buttons on the right side of the laptop now. Starting from the left, you got your battery status indicator, power button and power status indicator, Novo button, rotation lock button, volume down and volume up button, combo audio jack, and a USB 2.0 port. Next up is test out the boot speed on the new Lenovo Yoga 2 with a 500 gigabyte 5400 RPM hard drive. And the results are in. This laptop booted up in about 20 seconds. Next up, let's talk about display quality. This laptop features an 11.6 inch 10 point multi touch IPS display with a resolution of 1366 by 768. This panel has been great. Colors and text look vibrant and crisp. While the display quality is not full HD, when you have an 11.6 inch laptop, the resolution of 1366 by 768 is a great resolution for this screen size. Screen brightness has been pretty good as well. Overall, I've been highly satisfied with the display quality. Next up, let's test out the touchscreen performance on this 11.6 inch touchscreen display. Let me launch the MSN website. Let me try to scroll up and down. So far, very smooth and precise. Multi-touch has been great as well. Let's take a look at the top performance cars at New York. Let's swipe around here and take a look at the new cars. Here you got the new Jaguar, the new Audi, the new BMW M4, and the new Corvette Stingray convertible. Let me show you some text of the BMW M4. As you can see here, the clarity is very sharp. Next up, let's test out the viewing angles on this 11.6 inch IPS display. Let me go ahead and rotate the laptop to the left. So far, pretty visible. Now it's starting to fade. Overall, the viewing angles on this IPS display were good. Next up, let's take a look at the multiple modes that we can perform with the new Lenovo Yoga 211. The first mode we have here is laptop mode. Followed by our stand mode, which you can watch Netflix in bed more comfortable. Next up, you got your tent mode, where you can use this laptop in the kitchen and look up recipes and etc. And there you have it, with the flexibility of the new Lenovo Yoga 211, you now have the option of using this laptop in multiple modes that you never thought of before. Next up, let's talk about keyboard performance. This keyboard has been good. I have been highly impressed by this keyboard considering its small footprint. The keys have solid feedback and offer good key travel. Let me show you a demo of the key travel. These keys offer an excellent response. Also keep in mind there is no backlit keyboard on this laptop. Next up, let's talk about trackpad performance. The trackpad has been very good. Two finger scrolling and gestures have been surprisingly very smooth and accurate. Lenovo really did its homework on the keyboard and trackpad. Next up, let's test out the Lenovo Motion Launch Control on the all new Lenovo Yoga 211. Let's go ahead and swipe to the left. So far, very precise and accurate. Let's go to the right side now. Again, excellent response from the motion control. Next, let's talk about the processor performance. This laptop features an Intel Pentium N3520 running at 2.17 GHz with a turbo boost up to 2.42 GHz. For day-to-day -day usage like web browsing, word processing, and 720p HD video, this laptop's performance was up to the challenge. However, if you plan on using more complex software, then the N3520 will start to come to a crawl. Next up, let's take a look at some Geekbench 3 performance scores. This is a 64-bit version. For the single core score, I got 1014, and the multi-core score came in at 3378. 
Next up, let's take a look at Cinebench R15. For the CPU score, I got 143 CB. Next up, let's test out the performance of the Intel HD4200 using 3D Mark. For the Firestrike 1.1, I got a score of 134. For CloudGate 1.1, I got a score of 1,345. And iStorm 1.2, I got a score of 18,418. With these kind of scores, you can expect to play light duty games like FIFA 14, Diablo 3, Counter Strike, and Minecraft. After tweaking some of the video settings, I was able to get Minecraft to run at approximately 31 frames per second. And here is a screenshot of the video settings I had for Minecraft. Next up, let's test out the performance of the 500GB 5400 RPM hard drive using Crystal Dismart. For the sequential read speed, I got 106.1 megabytes a second. For the sequential write speed, I got 104.8 megabytes a second. These speeds are about average for your traditional 5400 RPM hard drive. Next up, let's talk about battery performance. On average, I was able to get around 4.5 to 5 hours on a full charge with screen brightness at around 80%. Next up, let's talk about fan noise. Well, this model does not have a fan because the thermal design power is only 7.5 watts. Therefore, a fan is not needed. The Pentium N3520 runs very cool and efficient. Next up, let's talk about speaker performance. Lenovo is calling these Dobly Home Theater V4 style speakers. The sound quality from these speakers was about average considering its size and placement. Next up, let's talk about Wi-Fi performance. This laptop features a Broadcom 802.11n Wi-Fi card. Wi-Fi performance has been great. I have read on some forums that some people are experiencing Wi-Fi issues with this model. I have tested this laptop at multiple locations and the Wi-Fi performance has been flawless. If you're looking for one of the best 11-inch portable laptops out there without breaking the bank, then look no further than the all-new affordable Lenovo Yoga 211. This laptop features a solid processor, a slick and stylish two-tone design, and multiple modes to use your laptop. Alright, this concludes my review on the all-new Lenovo Yoga 211. If you enjoyed this video, please click that like button, and please subscribe for more upcoming videos. Alright, thanks for watching. Peace.